Stuart Lawrence's ordeal began back in December when he says he got his cochlear implant at Legacy Emanuel. This is one of the devices. But it wasn't until he got the bill that he noticed something. A charge of $478.85 for um, non-covered services. He promptly called Legacy's billing department. He soon found out the nearly $500 charge he was supposed to pay out of pocket was for something anyone can buy at the store for a couple of bucks. I, I just thought it was outrageous. He was told the surgeon used bacitracin neomycin, a name the average person may not recognize. Well, I knew that bacitracin neomycin was neosporin. Lawrence is a retired doctor, which helped him recognize the medical name for neosporin. The point that got my goat a little bit was that the charge of $478 was for a blob of neosporin. After his phone call to the billing department, he soon got a letter. And you are not responsible for this charge. It appears it was coded incorrectly. Still, his concern is that other people might be caught up in similar situations and end up paying more than they have to. Were I not curious about what the charge was for, someone uh, unknowingly would have felt responsible for the $478 and paid it. Lawrence says his issue isn't specifically with Legacy Health, rather how the healthcare system as a whole handles costly medical procedures. It's a political issue that, that doesn't seem to get solved. A Legacy Health spokesperson says they have controls in place to promote quality and accuracy. They've also got specialists who can guide patients through their bill. Either way, Lawrence hopes his experience is a lesson to all of us. Check the bill when you get it. In Portland, Christine Prawanich, KGW News.